Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome if you're new. Welcome to Junk Journal January where I'm not, uh, I'm not ready. <laughs> it's already January. We are well into January as a matter of fact. So this is part two of making my January journal. So I'm back. I think I'm just going to post it in bits because for whatever reason, uh, editing and putting videos together and all that is, and loading them is taking forever. So I, I might just post it in stages. I'm not too sure. We'll see. Uh, either way, this journal is going to get done. I have so much to journal and I have nowhere to journal it. So I wanted to show you, um, this is where we're at. This is step two of making my cover. So step one is posted in the video below. It's also under, um, junk journal January and it's also under my playlist of making a journal so you can find it a couple places but um, this is the first time ever in me making a journal that I have chosen to work with fabric now I don't have a grid on here but you can see this is pretty wonky um, and I am okay with it I'm in love with it actually it's perfect um, so I took the mailer the amazon mailer from whatever package we got on any of the days and um this is an old dish towel and so i've sewn it over it now what i did this is actually the inside i guess it doesn't matter we could do whatever we want but the reality is this is the inside and i added on the inside of the um, envelope i added a strip of tyvek like from an envelope and then I went ahead and took a strip of the dishcloth and just put it down the middle because there was a gap here. And I just thought like the seamless maybe looked fine. Now, the actual envelope, you can see that the edges are like open. The envelope's right there. I'm completely fine with it. I actually love it. So yeah, I'm digging on it. This is the natural fold that the envelope already had. So we're just working with kind of like what it wants to be. I'm completely allowing this to be. Now, I did not glue this um, rag down at all to the envelope. Like this is completely loose. The only thing holding it is underneath. Again, I've never done it before. I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm super happy with it. <laughs> we just have to decide if like this is the front or if this is the front and I don't think it matters. What we need is some pages. And I have a little bit of time, um, not a lot because I have two days left with my kids and we have plans. I've already gone to the gym this morning um, and now I'm home and we have plans in about 30 minutes. So we'll see. What I thought I could do is compile my pages at least. Uh, <laughs> now, I don't know. I, I got super inspired and made a pile. Like this is what I want for my junk journal January. Look at the yumminess. It's so exciting. Um, we're not going to use all of this, obviously. So I thought we could look at it together. Um, so this is where I always get stuck. I am making a journal for my creative daily journal, which means I need 30 days has September, April, June, and November, all the rest have 31. I have 31 days, right? <laughs> yeah. So, um, I don't tend to add a lot of extra stuff and flips and flops. Like when I make a regular junk journal that I'm going to use just for regular, like junk journaling or prompt journaling, I add all sorts of like envelopes in. So if I add this in, let's say, which we're going to do, but here's, here's my challenge is what I'm telling you. If I add this in, this is obviously not going to be a page, right? So I'm not going to count it as a page, but what if I don't need it on that day, which is where I get stuck. I tend to use this more in my creative daily journal as like, like a tip in, like if this was my page and I wanted this on it, I would just glue it on there somehow and make it like for that day because I needed extra journaling. Right. But I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So what I know is I need, I think I need 18 pieces of paper because I want a cover and I want a blank one for my calendar, which may or may not be easy to do. Look at that, loving right now. Um, I did get out some doilies that I've painted. And so I thought, you know, we'll definitely use one of these if I can find one that makes my brain happy for January. Mm. These look kind of summery to me. This looks fall. I think 
I'll use this one, although it's the brightest one in there. Oh, we'll use this one. Let's just just choose it and let it go, Elson. Let it go. I haven't printed up any of my printables. So I'm not going to count this as a page. I'm not going to count this as a page. So we'll add in extras later. Okay, let's get 18 pages and see if that does what we want it to do. Now, I have this from an old December daily that I did. And this is just um, some pocket sleeves. And I, you know, from whatever album. So I'm going to use this as a page this, this, this time around. Yeah, I'm going to use this as a page. So we're going to count that. So let's try 18. One, two, this one has to go somewhere in here or actually it doesn't. I, I we're going to try it. I was going to use it as like the inside of my journal. And I don't even know if I want that as my cover because it doesn't really match. So now I'm like, I don't know. We might just use it as pockets and stuff because this doesn't make my brain happy at all. Let's put it up here. We're going to, we're going to let it be something that it's supposed to be, which I'm not in charge of right now. It's just, I'm allowing it to, okay. Um, this is just for journaling. So we'll just leave it. Now I got this in a happy mail and I was going to see if I could use it, but I'm going to leave it intact and just leave it. Okay. This is just my brain, you guys. Now see, I feel like this is going to be a page. Now that's Okay. Okay. We're going to do it. One, two, three. I don't know if this is a page. We're going to try it. Four. We're going to do all different sizes. We're just going to go for it, you guys. And if I can't handle it, we'll just add five. Look at this fun um, placemats I got. This was a while ago in a haul. Now I don't know if I can do this for January. It's very springy to me. But I do, I, I like the idea. I feel like I want to push myself. I actually got it for a summer journal. Oh, you guys, it's like plastic on this side. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's only four. Okay, we're going to save it. I think this would be a really fun journal cover. Okay, we're going to save this. It's going back in the junk journal making pile. We, we're at five still. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's go down here. I already folded some papers. Five. Oh, this is just stuff. This is not, this wasn't in the right paper. Okay. Um, let's move this over here for just a second. Please don't fall. Okay. I feel like a big envelope would be fun, but that's, um, it was an envelope. I already cut it apart. Here's the other part of it, which I thought would be a fun page. So we might piecemeal that back together. Let's call that six, seven, eight, nine. These are just scrapbook papers, not super fun. Nine, 10, 10, um, it's pink, but look at that side. I love it. 10. I love this one. 11. Hi, sweetheart. 12. I'm well. How are you? Thirteen. These are printables, free printables. I printed up um, and I printed them on both sides. 14. Fifteen. Sixteen. This was from Happy Mail. Is that not gorgeous? This is an extra. 
17. This is cabbage dyed paper. Oh gosh, I'm out of paper already. You guys, I'm out of choices. Okay, this was from Sweet Deidre, so this is definitely making it. So that's 18. Now, I pulled all sorts of extra fun stuff. I feel like I just need to make another junk journal, but I don't know what to use it for. This is a fun little... Here's a doily I pulled, but it's not painted, and I like the painted one, so we'll put that back in the doily pile. Um, okay, now this is interesting because this is, I think, the same paper I already pulled, but dyed. Oh no, similar. Or stained, copy stained, right? Okay, so we'll save that. Here is some more scrapbook paper that we have already dyed. This is from the new pack. Okay, we'll save that for February maybe. This is a fun page. This is a fun page. But I have too many fun pages, don't I? Okay, well, such is life. Ooh, okay. So I'm liking stuff like this just for the texture. Some of this is just too bright. This is just a journal thing. Yeah, journal thing. Okay, so we don't journal thing. I pulled these all out of my January bucket. We're not gonna use this, but what fun would that have been like for Orange Bowl or something, but it's, it's okay. This is an add-in. Oh my gosh, here is the inspiration of my life right now. I know, I did a page on this a little while ago. I absolutely love this. It's very weird. It's very, it's very something for me. <laughs> I was gonna say a word, I don't think it's appropriate, so I'm gonna not say it, but. Um, here is a quote page that I pulled out. Let's see. Focusing your attention helps you get a better grip on life. Maybe that goes in the B journal. I think that goes in the B journal. Okay. We're going to put that in the other pile. We'll get rid of that little sleeve. We don't need that. So, yeah. Um, you know, I obviously pulled too many. Look at that fun pink so we'll make that will be february this is from sweet elizabeth oh so long ago and i don't want to use it i didn't want to use it and i pulled it like i need to use it but i'm not going to use it we'll use it next month this one's fun this one does remind me of january so i'm i i know i'm way over in papers the rest of these can wait until february gosh maybe we'll just start now on february's journal and it might be done on time that that'd be a neat concept all right, in fact, I'm gonna put all of these just in the sleeve for right now. And see, this might be January's journal right here. Not too sure. We'll see, although I have January, sorry, February. I have so much Valentine's Day paper from um, a haul I did a while ago. Okay, um, this is all add-ins, so we'll put it right here. Now, I think I'm gonna do two signatures like I normally do because um, okay now that's interesting I need I want a blank blank to do my calendar on so this would be like half of the front page if you will hmm hmm all right we will Actually, I like the fold right where it was. Okay, one, two. I don't know, you guys. I don't know about these little pieces. I don't know what their purpose is. Like, I'm just going to have to add more stuff for a day, right? This journal is going to be... Okay. Okay. So this, um, this went this way. So if I fold it this way, something's going to be upside down, right? Which is fine. I just have to decide what I want upside down. And for me, this flower needs to go right side up. 
as opposed to like this. So I'm going to make this upside down because that's more solid just writing and I'll cover it anyway. So this is the way this paper is going to go. This is also upside down, but that's no big deal. Like our number of the day will go right there or something. So that's fine. One, two. This is a maybe. It's very similar to the last one we did, obviously, but we'll... Oh, so cute. Okay, three... This can be right here. That would give us our calendar. Okay, that would take care of what we need in the beginning. Okay, so we're at three so far, you guys. One, <laughs> two, three. This one I'm actually gonna fold in so I don't get confused, okay? Because we're gonna use it as an extra flip or whatever we want here, so we'll fold it this way. We can cut it off, we can do whatever we want, but so far we're at three, and this is not necessarily the order, but we'll just keep going. Four, look at this. Look at this napkin I got. <gasps> I don't even know. This may not be a page. Maybe this is an add-in. I can't even use it like that, you guys. I have to cut it. Like I can't, I don't, that's like a waste to me of, oh, it's gorgeous. Well, maybe it's not. Because if we make it thin, it's like really, really thin. But we could, you know, only use it as like a layer on a, pa on a page as opposed to a page. But I love as a page how flimsy we're going to use it. I'm just going to use it. This is, this is the new Allison of like use your stuff. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want this one because it's flimsy and flimsy. Five. Woo! Six. Seven. Eight. can't do that it my brain was like oh oh nine ten okay so the idea is I think I'm gonna do ten and eight I don't think I want them equally yoked I think if if I do the math and we're not going to finish in this video, so I think we're going to do 10 here and then I have eight left, I think is, is the way I've figured out if I can do what I want to do. So let's, I really like this piece of paper, which is very strange. It does not speak January to me. Um, And I'm looking because this will be like where they meet, right? There will be a thing here and then this would be the next page. So I'm just trying to see what, what would make me happy if I'm going to keep that as my, um, and maybe we don't want this. Okay. So if, okay, so this piece of paper may not work for a journal page. Let's just play with it for a minute. This is the same thing. So it flips up and down, right? So something's got to be upside down. If I'm going to use this quote, I don't want the quote upside down, but the birds are there. So if the birds, yeah. So, okay. So we're not going to use this as a journal page. I will use this part of it and then I'll use this part as a flip or something else. We could cut it apart and flip it. We could do whatever we want with it, which we still could do. But as of right now, let's let's let that one go. All right. Um, so like random envelope, I'm just going to put in my envelope pile. We're not going to necessarily use that right now. Now this, okay. So here we go. This is the envelope. I thought this could be a whole page and I'm going to leave this edge on it up here torn. Okay. Cause that's part of its glory. 
I mean, that could just be a page. That could be the other half of the calendar as well. But I think we're fine with what we have. Okay, so let's not worry about that. Um, this could be a page like this. Or I have this one, which I kind of like. The idea is to get the whole pocket. So that might be I like that. I like that. Okay, so that's going to be that page. That means we need a backing here somehow. Like, you know, we need to finish a page. So we might just glue that on. You know, probably shouldn't have cut the envelope apart type thing. Right, right, okay. So maybe we'll do that. Now that's not making my brain happy because this wrinkle's at the bottom. And if we're gonna keep the wrinkle, the wrinkle needs to go at the top. Now I get the wrinkle is down here. Don't listen to me. I don't, I, <laughs> my brain doesn't always make sense. It just knows, it knows this isn't going this way. Okay, that's what I know right now. We're gonna put this back together just like that. Yeah. Oh, oh, I just reached for my tape and it's not. Where is my tape? What is happening right now? It is literally it. Oh, what? Um, okay. Something is in disarray because my tape, it goes only in one spot. Holy cow. This. Did I tell you my little Rue helped me clean my room the other day? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We're not done. Don't even, yeah, no, we got like, yeah, we got some organization done. We actually got some things put away is what we did. And like, I like everything because I'm a butterfly, right? That's what I learned from my organizational, like learning on the Clutterbug channel. Um, I like everything visual and I like it in my reach and I like to know what it is. I don't want things in a drawer where I can't see it. I want everything. I want it. So she's like, you don't need all of this right next to you all the time. And I was like, <gasps> stop your words. How dare you? She's like, no, seriously. And I was like, uh, okay, maybe you're right. <laughs> so I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Now this, um, I, I want to not lose this entire flip out. I'm just trying to measure some pages here. Let's go back very quickly and just check. I want to, this is the one page I'm going to mess with. Just we're at seven on this. Okay. Um, Oh yeah, we're fine. Okay, so this one's fine. And then this one, oh, we're really fine. Okay, I just didn't want to, I'm gonna leave it not as like a page, but okay, yay, that's exciting. Okay, so this is one and I think we need eight. And Well, I can tell you, I'm not going to keep all of this because I don't want it to show through this side. So I'm going to just cut off part of it. Um, and no, I don't care about any of that. Oh, sorry if I jingled you. Um, okay, here we go. That's one. I'm now thinking about my scissors. <laughs> one, two. Four. Guys, I still didn't count right. I'm going to fold this up so we get a pocket here when we use it, right? 
Now, the only problem with some of this, well, we're going to have to deal with it later. All right. Okay, guys, I'm going to use this as a page. It's going to give me the hives. All right, here we go. Six. That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, these are our choices that we have left. I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna use these. We'll use them as like extras. Like, I'm not gonna use this as a page, we'll use it as an extra, I think. I love this. Oh, Yeah, I, I, okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I need two more, I think. So this is what we have left. Six. This one lends naturally to being next to that one, I think. Seven, um, that's seven. And then what do we want? This is a bag. It's kind of fun for the middle. Now, but remember when we do our journaling, like this and this will be the page for the day. <laughs> um, which is why I tend to use these as extras and like I would glue this in as like a pocket right? As, a, as opposed to using it as a page. And I really like it as a pocket. You guys, my stomach's nervous. That's how much this gives me. <laughs> uh, I know it's a lot. I know I'm also close on time is why I'm a little. That seems the safe route. This seems I mean, not any less safe, but like, mm. okay. Hmm. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it and we're going to, we're going to be fine. Oh, it makes me nervous. Okay, so let's let's count really quickly and then that will be the end of the video just to see if I'm on or not because um Okay. Let's Okay, so it would go like this, right? It would all be one journal. I still need to cut some stuff or fold. I know that. I'm just just plain. Let's this is going to be cover. This will be calendar. Now, do I need anything else? I don't think I do. I mean, we could make a goal page or something like that. Let's just see where we're at if we do it this way. So this would be one. We're going to mark it one, two, three, four, this will be five, six, seven, eight. This is nine. This is ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so that gives us 18 pages like this. I normally don't use this. It's here if we need it. So we're not going to count this one. 18. We're not going to count this for now. 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we're way over. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Okay, so I technically don't need this one at all, which is, I really want it. So we need to find, are there any other pages we don't really want? Okay, so I either have extra pages still in the back I mean, like we could easily take this one out and again, use it as like cool envelopes or whatever, because this bag's super fun. I don't know. Plus, I'm really liking how I layered them and the colors and everything, so. This would be an easy one to take out right here. Hmm. Although I really like it. Where's my stupid numbers? I didn't make any numbers back here. What's going on? Come on, Allison. Um, 26. This is 27. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. I have even more than I thought. Um, and maybe that's fine. And maybe that's fine. We could make a list of goals. We could do a few other things. So maybe we'll just leave it. I mean, it's fine. I normally have an extra page or two. So, so I think, I think maybe that's fine. So then, then we need to decide... I thought maybe I could deal with the numbers and make them unequal, but I think it's fine if it's 10 and 8 as opposed, yeah. Because um, I actually like this even if we, I don't know. And I like that as the middle of the book. Um, okay, so we have plenty of paper. So that's where I will leave this journaling session, I think. What I'm gonna do next um, is hang out with my, my kiddo. Um, but in terms of my journaling, what I'm gonna do next is gonna go through here and decide um, if I'm gonna cut them down or if I'm gonna leave them. I'm The whole premise is to have unequal edges and all of this, it, it's totally fine. Obviously, this is too much here. So I need to decide on pages like this what we're gonna do and I can tell you, um, my go-to again is to, um, you know, fold it up to get something like that. Okay, I do enjoy the pockets. Um, I I just think it's a nice way to have a page. It adds some color, especially on the back side of scrapbook paper that's not already has a design. I mean, I think that's perfect. So. Um, I think that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I will go through and decide if I wanna cut this or if I'm gonna fold it in. I mean, for right now, I'm just gonna fold stuff like this in because you don't have to make a decision right now. If I'm gonna do any sewing on these pages, I will also go do that now. So like I could sew this right here for some fun. Fun, right? This is stunning. Uh, this is stunning. Oh my gosh. You guys, I love this journal already. I'm in love with it. Um, I might, you know, do something like that for right now, just so I know that that's a workable edge. I'm not going to sew it or anything. Um, yeah. So I'll go through and make a couple decisions and then I'll come back and bind it with you and we'll put this journal together. It's time guys. It's, it's going to be the middle of the month before this happens. Let's get some thread there. But um, super, super excited. So this is what 
it will look like, right? Well, we have one piece that may not, let's just do it for one second. My kid's not screaming at me yet, so let's do just the fold up. Okay. Now, this one I might choose to actually put up here, right? Because I'm not. I'm going to have to put it down here. Again, this and this is going to be the page for today. This day, right? This is this is the page for this day. So, that's where my eye gets a little you know, that's going to be that's going to be kind of hard. Now we could put it right there like over this pocket. I don't know. We'll have to decide on placement, but but that's fine. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. And we're going to fold this guy up as well. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we're looking at um, inside this journal. Okay. So, so far it's looking like that. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Um, this, you know, we'll cut or right? We'll get a different edge here. We'll probably cut this off as well. I'm not too sure to make it a pocket that slides in this way. The other option is to seal this or leave this and slice it this way to make a pocket this way. Okay. So those decisions don't have to be made today or they don't have to be made until we get to that day, but oh my gosh. And look, okay, there's the seam already. It's fine. It's more than fine. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Now we are, we do have this one little thing here. Again, it's supposed to be that way. I'm just trying to mess with it and figure out what I want as the top or the bottom. So I might decide that that's the front. There we go. Okay. Oh, look at that. And again, I don't decorate this now. This comes to me throughout the month. It might be just pieces I get. You know, we might decide whatever this is going to be, it evolves throughout the month. And so as things come or as I see stuff, I, you know, I will make and glue some stuff on the cover here. Okay. So that this is not out of order. This is how I normally do a journal. I know a lot of people finish the cover first and, you know, that's what happens. So, um, Okay, I'm, I'm super excited about this journal, you guys. This is going to be amazing. So thanks for hanging out for the process. Let me know how your process is going. I do appreciate a couple of you reaching out to me and saying like, mm, you know, hey girl, have you done your January journal yet? The answer is no. The answer is no, I have not. It's right here. It's coming along. It's going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Um, I do have my prompts that I need to print out on paper, but um, I, you know, here are the junk journal January prompts. Um, and I'm looking right here and number two is starry and I'm already sad. So we might have to move some paper around because look at that paper. Wouldn't that be amazing for starry? Oh, okay. So uh, we'll figure some stuff out. Okay. All right. That's it for me, you guys. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're creating. I hope you're making the memories and then able to document them. However that works for you. I hope January has you off to a beautiful start for this wonderful new year. And I hope that you find something today that inspires you. Take care. Bye.